Hi, this is Jessica Drossen, and today I'm going to just do a really quick uh, little tutorial regarding the Blooming Trees digital background. So I've never actually put out digital backgrounds before, so um, they're, you know, pretty basic, but we're just going to, I'm going to, I made a little example one, so we're just going to go to our example one first. And obviously this part would not be printed, you're going to you know, crop this off or you're going to put a grass overlay on top of it. I just made a little extra room um, and just made it really easy in case you've never done anything like this before. Um, if For the rest of them, they don't have this extra area, so you can just go here to your crop tool and you can literally, you know, drag it down and you can make it bigger if you want. Um, or you can go here to image and then under canvas size you can always just add more room down here if you want to increase the amount of grass that you see. So we're going to go gr ahead and grab a grass overlay. So here's all of the different overlays that are for the pink trees and now we're going to go ahead and grab one of the grass overlays and this one's literally the the edited version of this that I used um, for one of my images and so I'm going to just go ahead and use this as an example. I'm going to put it right on in there and I'm just going to make sure that it's going all the way to the bottom edge to edge. I can resize it here a little bit if I want to. Okay, I'm just going to accept that. Now, um, what I would do then is, uh, let's say that I have, um, you know, somebody or a figure, somebody else that I want to have placed into this area, then I would just go ahead and, um, you know, grab that uh, family or individual. And I would likely just here, in fact, I'm going to just pretend I, I don't want to make this a super long edit video, but let's just say this is your person. Hi! Okay. And let's say that you want them to be on top of the grass. That's fine. They can be on top of the grass or you can have them be here underneath of this grass so that maybe, you know, parts of their uh, their leg is, is not showing, etc. So you have a lot of flexibility here, just depending upon where you then put in your, um, you know, whatever you would like to add into this scene. Um, and there's a variety of different grass uh, treatments that you can go with. And then if you want to add something a little extra, you can um, go ahead and add one of these branches. Let's just see what this one looks like place that right here and then I'm going to go to these additional actions and I'm going to go ahead sorry I just wanted to show these actions so give me one moment all right and let's say that I want to flip it so that it's on this side. I will just make sure that I have it selected and hit continue and boom now my overlay is here and I can place it however I want to. And let's say I want it to be a little more uh, warm. It looks a little too bluish so I would go down here to warmer tones. Again I just make sure that I have that overlay selected hit the play button, say continue. Now let's say that's too uh, warm for me now. I would just go to the opacity and I would lower the opacity until it felt like it was sort of blending in right. And there's things here where you could do that with um, saturation or desaturation or you can even make it uh, grayscale. You can also add a little bit of blur to it or even selective blur. But these are really simple to use. Let's just add in a little more um, We'll add in some single blossoms as well, just to make things festive. So here we go. We could, uh, I'm gonna hit, go ahead and select that. We could even double it up. And I'm gonna just say, flip overlay vertical. And now those 
look a little different. Maybe I'll resize them to be a little smaller. Maybe I'll add a little bit of blur to make them appear that they are not only smaller, but a little further in the background. Oops, let me do that one more time. But you basically get the idea. This should be very simple for you to create um, a really fun scene. And, you know, forgive my little drawn man, but I just didn't want to go into the, uh, the process of selecting a subject. You're going to have to get your subject and, um, you know, cut them out of the original background. Um, but, you know, I've created everything else for you if you want to have this sort of fun scene. Um, with or without the, the grass overlay. So I hope you enjoy this. Hope you have lots of fun. Thanks so much for watching.